Hello and welcome to this recording of our VocTech Activate Grant Fund webinar. I'm Jane Holmes, Head of Grant Programs. In this webinar, I'll talk a bit about UFI and then more about this particular grant call. If you were joining one of the live workshops, um, we would then go into breakout sessions where you'd have uh, opportunities to ask questions of a member of the team. And there are a couple of those left. You can book in on our website if you'd like to. Um, but for now, I will move on to about UFI. UFI supports the development and deployment of digital tech tools and approaches that help us all obtain the vocational skills we need to get more out of our working lives. We believe that equitable access to skills enabled by technology is vital to building a thriving economy. As a charity, we have a particular focus on those learners who have been poorly served, under supported or overlooked by traditional or mainstream provision. And we use the term VocTech to describe what we support, the combination of technology and vocational skills. We see VocTech as an enabler, supporting better outcomes for learners in many and various ways. For example, opening up access, supporting teachers and trainers, improving assessment and enabling learning to happen in new and different ways which deliver for learners and for employers. We offer grants, we invest in mission-aligned companies through UFI Ventures and we advocate to catalyse change in attitude, focus and investment in VocTech in the UK. Grants of between £30,000 and £60,000 are available for projects of between 3 and 12 months duration. We do not mark down applications which reasonably request the full £60,000, so do ask for what you need. And of course, all projects must aim to solve a vocational learning problem to help adults get the skills they need for work. So VogTech Activate is this specific grant call, but what is it? VogTech Activate is grant funding for innovative projects using digital tools and approaches to help adults gain skills for work. And by adults, we mean anyone over 16 who is available for work. Specifically, it targets new ideas with the potential to transform how adult voc vocational learning happens. VocTech Activate provides a test bed where new ideas which solve real vocational learning problems can be scoped and tested in a supportive environment. And it's rooted in a real world understanding of the problems, issues and opportunities in the vocational sector. We don't fund tech for tech's sake, we fund tech that's solving a problem, specifically a vocational learning problem. It's important to say what we don't fund as well as what we do. I'm not going to read out this list because you can pause the video and read it. But again, this, our focus is tech for skills, not tech skills. So what kind of ideas are we looking for? We're really interested in big ideas that have the potential to transform vocational learning. We need to understand how you see your idea having a significant impact in the vocational learning market. And by that, we mean learning that will help lots of people gain skills, get jobs, get better jobs or upskill within their jobs. We're interested in products and services that can reach those not well served by mainstream provision. So perhaps those whose training needs are overlooked in a current role or those who didn't thrive in a classroom environment. And we're looking for ideas that show how UFI funding can help make a difference. We're also interested in ideas that have the potential to reach a large number of learners or users in the longer term. If your community of learners or users is quite niche and relatively small, you need to consider how to make this a wider, more universal offer that others can adapt and adopt. And finally, we're not just another funder. We're about building capacity and long term relationships. So we'd like to hear how you will contribute to the wider UFI family and what our support will help you achieve. Everything we fund supports our mission to promote better use of technology for adult learners and the differing ways that digital tech can enhance existing provision. It could be the development of innovative tech 
or the innovative use of existing tech. It could be utilising established technology in a new way or for a new user group, for example, taking tech currently only deployed in schools or universities and developing it for use in the workplace or in further education and for workplace skills. It could be bringing new technology, including to cutting edge technologies to vocational learning problems, whatever they may be, from dental technicians to train engineers and everything in between. We can support ideas for new tech, new markets, new communities of learners, and we're happy to welcome new project teams. The emphasis here is on the new. Voctec Activate has been designed to support innovation and we're okay with risk. This is about sharing that risk in order to encourage the development of new digital vocational learning tools, enabling organizations like yours to test new ideas and work out the next steps necessary to plan a route to market and long-term success. Now in the workshop, in the live workshop, we have a little quiz here in which one of, one of these sectors, so one of these sectors we haven't grant funded a Voctec Activate project. Um, and you can have a look in our Voctec directory, which is on our website to see which of the environmental rewilding sector, the pest control sector, the drainage sector, the dental sector and the maritime sector we haven't funded a project in. Each of those projects that were funded demonstrated an understanding of their learner audience, of why they were overlooked or underserved, of the problems that they faced, what other solutions were available in their ecosystem, and how their new tech solution could better address their learners' problems. So all of those organisations made good applications, so let's talk about what a good application looks like. Our grant application form takes you through all of these points. So show a clear adult vocational learning issue or problem. We get a lot of applications with a vague problem and a this could fix everything type solution. They often betray a lack of detailed knowledge of learners and their problems. So be clear and specific. Explain why you plan to develop is new, supported by evidence of what is already available. Show us that you know your sector, you know what's already available and tell us what it is that you plan to develop and why that's new. Describe the technology and the impact you expect it to have on your vocational learning problem. And while you're describing, make sure you explain what you mean by the terminology you use. If, for example, something is immersive, is it on a flat screen or a headset or a headset, headphones and controllers or is it underwater? Be really clear about what you mean by immersive. Show us your ambition and your potential to scale and explain why and how your learner group is overlooked or not well served by mainstream provision. And please be practical, avoid jargon and keep it simple. There's a word count for each of these questions that's between 100 and 200 word maximum. So you do need to be concise, pithy and clear. Now, I can't emphasize enough how important the guidance on this slide is. It doesn't always seem to get across for whatever reason, but um, you need to show us that you understand your learners, their problems and your sector. So within the word count, think about your, your application in terms of the vocational learning problem we are attempting to solve is we will address this vocational learning need by our solution is innovative because and our vocational learners will benefit by. And, I rem and remember to provide evidence, be clear, be practical and avoid jargon. As I said, many of the applications we get simply aren't clear enough. They may have a good idea, but have very vague amb ambitions of the this could solve everything type. This lack of clarity gives away a lack of thought and analysis about the problem, its solution and where it fits in the ecosystem of existing tools and approaches. So be clear about exactly what problem it is you're trying to solve and really dig into the needs of your learner group to make sure it really is a problem and that your proposed solution will solve it. 
So what else do you need to know? Some more top tips how to apply. Hopefully you've already looked on our website. You've seen that you can open an account at MyUFI to submit. So access, complete, save and submit your applications. It's a two stage application process with a review point at each stage. And if you're successful at stage one, you'll be invited to continue to stage two. Assessment at each stage is undertaken by an expert panel and final funding decisions are made by the UFI Board of Trustees. And now some practical tips. Please don't use Safari. The system simply doesn't work properly with it. The application system shows you which page you are on. You can see two green ticks, which means I've completed pages one and two, which is some information about you and your organization. And I'm on page three at the moment, which is the name of your project. It's a maximum of 80 characters for the name of your project. You'll get an error message if you try to go above that. You'll see at the bottom right, there's a save and continue button. Once you've got to this stage, the system will create your application and save the information you input as you go along. So you can log out and log back in to go back to your application at any point after page three. Page eight is where it looks different at the bottom right. It's where you save and submit your application. Please don't submit until you are absolutely sure this is your final version. Everything else will have been saved up to this point, so you can go back to it at any time. But once you've hit save and submit, you won't be able to change it. When you submit, there's a tick box where you agree to our terms and conditions if you're awarded a grant. There's a link to them at that point, and they're also available at our, on, a, on our website, so you can look at them at any time. Just search for terms and conditions. Also, please don't leave it until the last minute. The uh, deadline is five o'clock on the 31st of January. So here's the whole timetable. In the grand tradition of reinforcing learning, the deadline for submission of stage one applications is five o'clock on the 31st of January. We do not accept late applications. If you experience technical problems while completing or submitting your application, you must tell us as soon as possible via info at ufi.co.uk. Stage one applicants will be advised near the end of February whether they've been successful and will be invited to submit their stage two application. Stage two includes a set of questions which are individual to your application and allow us to ask you to clarify or strengthen specific areas of your proposal. The deadline for submission of stage two is five o'clock on the 13th of March and our board of trustees will reach final decisions on funding by early May. As a charity itself, UFI must ensure that any grant given to any organisation that is not also a charity demonstrates public benefit. This means being able to see evidence of how the proposed approach will benefit learners, how the community of learners has been defined and the total size of the group the project could reach. Applicants must always explain clearly why they need UFI funding to support their project and how UFI's charitable funding will make a difference. Finally, we need to make sure that our funding is not more than is necessary to deliver the project and is not replacing private funding. The questions we ask in our application forms helps understand how your proposal can have a beneficial public outcome, both immediately and in the longer term. So if you were in a live workshop, this would be the time we'd move into breakout rooms so you could chat to a member of the team and other people working in uh, this sphere. And then we'd all come back into the main room for some final questions. And then to summarize, I would say, grants are between 30,000 and 60,000 pounds are available for projects lasting three to 12 months to test early stage ideas for how digital tech can help people obtain skills for work. There's a lot of information on our website. Do check out the grant fund guidance. The eligibility checker is really useful. There are more top tips and our grant terms and conditions. Um, you apply via my UFI. And again, the closing date for applications is five o'clock on the 31st of January, and we do not accept late applications. My top tip is be clear. Perhaps get someone unfamiliar with what you want to do to read your draft application. It is so hard for our assessors and so frustrating with, for them as well to properly assess your application if they can't understand 
what it is they plan to do, what it is you plan to do, rather. So I hope that's been useful and I look forward to seeing some brilliant applications from you. Thanks very much.